decision to go out on our own and um, build Prelude Growth Partners really came from, one, our ability to partner together. There's nothing more important than who you partner with. And this was an opportunity for Alicia, my partner, and I um, to work together. And we had a very shared vision about what was happening in the consumer sector. So again, because of the regeneration and how dynamic it is, we saw a really unique opportunity of a multi-decade secular shift, and we wanted to participate in that um, and wanted to partner together and bring our complementary skills together to be able to go after that opportunity. Alicia's been a long time operator um, and has run multi-billion dollar businesses as well as small businesses, and obviously I had spent um, you know, well over a decade investing in consumer brands. And this was our opportunity to do it together, going after a very exciting secular moment in, in the consumer sector. You know, I think as, um, I won't say as a woman, but uh, you know, speaking for myself, I think probably my male counterparts think about that from the day they enter the investing world, that I'm gonna build my own firm. I think, to be honest, I hadn't. Um, I wish I had, and I wish, and I encourage women today and young women that I speak to and mentor, when are you gonna start your own firm? You should absolutely start your firm. You can do this. And I always say that it was a man who put the idea of me starting a firm into my head. And it was a male mentor of mine, and as I was thinking about my career and what do I want to be doing, um, he put the idea in my head. and. Um, I started to think about it and I got incredibly excited about it with Alicia to be able to build Prelude. Um, so the short answer is I can't, you know, I wish I, I should have been and I encourage every woman to be thinking about it. Um, but once we had the idea, it, it does take, it certainly took us nearly a year to really hone it and formulate it. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that takes a while. I think the biggest challenge um, comes from, um, I think the personal sacrifice that it takes um, in terms of both financial um, and as well as being in an environment, being an achiever, but not really having a safety net underneath you. So I, I kind of cover that as there's both financial and emotional challenge of going on this journey. Um, and um, I think both play into it, but I think once you go down that journey and once you start, um, there is no turning back and there's nothing more exciting or rewarding than doing this. Before you set out, you do hear, before you set out to, to build your own firm, I think, um, Fundraising is something that people have war stories about. And war stories and um, people talk about how tough it is and how long it takes. Um, so I think once you start to see it come together and you see a major institutional investor have a vote of confidence in you, I think then you start to see, we're gonna do this. It's, gonna, it, it's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And that's an exciting moment. I think when I was sitting in a major firm investing and writing um, larger equity checks, um, there were, you know, in my role, you're spending an enormous amount of time thinking about the consumer and thinking about where the consumer sector is going. And I think sitting in my role, um, there were a number of opportunities and situations where um, I wasn't able to play. And I could see in my mind where the market was shifting and I could see a clear white space to where there was opportunity. So I think the idea and the thesis certainly came to me sitting in my investing seat. Um, but for my partner, Alicia, who um, was an operator, she could see it from her perspective and her vantage point on the other side. And so when we would get together on weekends and you know we've known each other for 20 years talking about what was happening in the consumer sector, I think the, both of us, um, kind of spent time thinking about it and talking through it and it was very clear to us about the opportunity that lay ahead.